In this video, we'll be covering how to graph uh, pressure and temperature using Excel. So over here, uh, we have our data from the pressure uh, from this experiment. So when, when this was dipped into the different temperature baths, and then, so we had, we measured the temperature, we got the pressure, and then we have our data here. This is old data, so don't, you know, don't use this same data. So I took the, um, I took the temperatures and I, I put them here. If you want, you could you could change it to Kelvin here. So I'll put, I'll title this temperature here. And then um, what I'm gonna do here is like make a little function. I'll, I'll put equals and then um, I, I wanna add 273 to all of these numbers. So I'm gonna put um, A2 to define this cell, so A2 plus 273 and then hit enter and then um, if I wanted to do all those cells I just click that little box and then drag it down and then it enters it there so here I have um, Celsius and then here's Kelvin um, you could graph either so you didn't really have to do that that was optional um, and then now I'm going to enter the pressure here um, you also don't really even need to title these columns but um, you'll see that if you do, it'll show up um, nicely on the graph. So now I'm entering the pressures from the data over here. That's all I'm doing right here. So 15.1 is the next one. Then 14.4. Then 13. And then 4.3. 4.3. Okay, so highlight the data you want. So let's just graph the Kelvin and pressure. So I highlight that, I go over here to insert, okay? And then I'm gonna uh, select this one, this drop down, and I want the one where it doesn't connect the points yet. So I'm gonna choose this one, scatter. Um, now, I wanna be able to title my axes. So I'm gonna go to quick layout and I'll choose, um, you could just pick one. So we'll just pick, let's say one with like grid lines. No, that one's not good. Um, okay, we could do this one right here. That looks good. Okay, and uh, actually this still, this layout doesn't let me title it. <clears throat> so, okay, so uh, I guess I'll just choose this one. Um, now for a title, let's give our graph a title. So this is um, pressure versus temperature. And we're gonna figure out absolute zero. Um, experiment our app our um, experimental absolute zero okay and then we want to title this axis right here with the uh, pressure and then we title this with the temperature okay so don't forget to the cor correct way to title your axes so you want to put the name of the variable and then the unit of measure so we want to put degrees Celsius here so Um, degree Celsius, I can't find the degree symbol. Okay, do the same for the, uh, for the Y axis. Um, now, what we wanna do is add a trend line. So I'm gonna go over the data and right click any one of the data points and choose this where it says add trend line. So I'm gonna choose that add trend line and I wanna choose linear cause it's a linear function. Um, and I'm gonna put display equation on chart. So I'm gonna do that right there and uh, this might be interesting to look at the R sort because I see a number that's off our line um, that looks like the dry ice one. And um, I think the dry ice is actually colder than, than what it shows up here, or the pressure should have been a little bit lower, um, one of the two. So this one we'll put, um, so R squared, I guess it's not too bad. Um, so now what I want to do is I want to see where this, I could figure it out because I have my equation of the line now, but I want to figure out where this crosses the x-axis. So I want to determine what what um, x is going to be when y is zero. So I could figure it out by setting this equal to zero. Um, but it might look it might look cool if I can. Um, it might look cool if I can uh, make it go through the line. So it looks like from here to here is 100 points. So I'm going to extend it like maybe 120 backwards. So I went backwards and I put 120 and then hit enter. Okay. And uh, now I can see where it intersects the, 
the x-axis right here it should in theory intersect it right here um, is uh, it's supposed to be zero Kelvin absolute zero okay so um, let's take our uh, our equation of the line there it is there um, and then I'll I'll uh, do this problem so I'm gonna call this So I'm going to call, um, so I want to know what, um, what, what, I'm sorry, X is, want to know what that point is when Y is zero. So where does it intersect the Y axis? So put zero there and, th and then solve for X. So I go zero equals 0 0.0479, the slope plus the, this shift number. Okay, so I, so I get negative 1.2198 equals 0 0.0479 x. So our experimental absolute zero is going to be a negative number, which is actually, you know, obviously that's wrong. But we did this with a crude experimentation here. So 0 0.0479. Okay, so I get negative 25 Kelvin. Um, so that's pretty close to zero, actually. Okay, so that's the... Um, that's how to do it on Excel, uh, and I'll, I'll post a second video to show on uh, Google Sheets.